goodies, it's your girl Christine, and today we are checking out the most dangerous weapon is not nuclear. This is by Kurtz, Kurtz, Kurt, Kurtz, 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 the Kurtz people. Okay, in a nutshell, I just, I can't say it and see it at the same time. It don't work for me, but that's okay. I'm nervous because I, it's bionuclear. And I'm like, what does, is that code for another virus? Yet another, another virus? I am already afraid to go out as it is. And every time I watch one of their videos, it just makes me even more afraid, okay? But we'll see what's in store. Links down below to become a member or patron to support the channel and to be a part of our behind the scenes live streams where you get to react along with me as I'm recording. Uh, yeah, let's get started. A breathtaking scientific revolution is taking place. What? Biotechnology has been progressing at stunning speed, giving us the tools to eventually gain Is control like over biology. Is it like meaning like On the one hand, solving the deadliest things? diseases, while also creating viruses more dangerous than nuclear bombs, uh, able to devastate humanity. Uh -huh. What's going on? Biotech yeah, capability. What is going on? Biotechnology is increasingly everywhere. The cotton okay. in your clothes, the vegetables you eat, Oh, yeah, dog. GMOs. Humans oh, my manipulate goodness. living oh, things. My goodness. We use bacteria Why are you crazy to produce though? insulin, connect prosthetics directly with our brains, and make industrial enzymes to produce paper. Gene what? therapy creates really? cures to previously untreatable diseases while we're working on food crops resistant to climate change. Our oh, okay. mastery yeah, over yeah. biology has been speeding up so much that within weeks of the first COVID 19 case, the mm -hmm. unknown coronavirus was broken down in laboratories and analyzed. Scientists like generated a copy of its genetic material to create a vaccine that was ready for testing months after the pandemic began. Oh, okay. Something unthinkable a decade ago. Where is all this sudden progress coming from? Well, it it's complicated. Money? But in a nutshell, Loss? really expensive things got cheap and knowledge of how to do impressive things mm. spread freely. That's true what the they human say about technology. Project starting in technology 1990 comes on, was the first major attempt to read human DNA continue, in its entirety. Cheap. 13 years and $3 billion later, it was okay. complete. By then, the cost the of decoding a human genome had fallen to about $100 million. Today, it's oh, 100,000 okay. times cheaper, costing only about $1,000. To decode How is that possible? the human genome? Converting DNA into it computer data and then studying human, it used to be a super tedious process taking expert humans around three years of manual work. Today, wow. it takes about two weeks and is almost completely automated. What? Biotechnology has gone from Isn't something restricted thing? to the best and well-funded laboratories staffed by the world's top mm -hmm. experts to something affordable enough for hundreds of thousands of people to casually work on. What mm. sped up the process even more is that information in the field is shared widely and freely. Cutting-edge discoveries internet, now take just about a year to be copied in laboratories yeah. around the world, a, lot of these a few things you years can learn on for the anyone with now. a biology background to work out, and a bit over a decade for high school students to experiment with them in schools. Mm. Imagine that your local computer repair shop could build a pristine iPhone 11 with just the parts lying around, and that teenagers okay. are asked to build a new iPhone 5 for homework. Mm. Not a crappy homemade version, the real thing. This is what's job, going Miranda. on right now in Eureka. biotechnology, a true revolution. We are adding he knowledge at out. unprecedented rates, while things get ever faster and, and cheaper to do. Is this out. speed means we can expect even more wonderful things for humanity. Life-saving mm. treatments, miracle crops, and solutions to problems we can't even imagine the right now. The crops thing, I'm excited and also terrified But unfortunately, progress about. cuts both ways. What can be used for good can also be used for bad, Always. by accident, or on purpose. Always. What if you could Always. build a nuclear bomb in your backyard? Oh, whoa, why for are all we the good making video about that? Do for us, in the near future, it also could easily kill many millions of people. In the worst oh, case, oh, okay. hundreds of millions. Just, just hundreds Worse than any nuclear bomb. The world just witnessed how fast the novel coronavirus spread. Yeah, yeah, we still don't know for sure if it came from nature or was the result of an accidental leak from a lab working with coronaviruses. Mm -hmm. That's there still subject to scientific theories. debate. In the Raccoons? end, at least 7 million people died. And this was still a relatively mild seven virus million? that didn't cause serious disease in most of those infected. Umbrella. But that might change in the future. Wherever the last pandemic came from, the next one might very well be our own fault. In a sense, mm. many things the going on in biotechnology could lead to this. 
most of all how easy it is to work with dangerous viruses. Thousands of scientists can simply order the genetic data of infectious virus samples online to experiment with them. Assembling that these into an artificial wild. virus in 2023 costs about as much as a new car, including so all the lab equipment. Online? At the same time, other scientists Is are trying to find viruses right that hide in nature, like in wild bats or monkeys. There mm -hmm. are probably plenty of potentially deadly pandemics out there. Virus yeah. hunters take samples back to the lab to learn whether the newly discovered viruses are likely to spread hey, in humans and catalog the danger. Bio. When a biologist discovers a new virus, they usually publish its genetic data to the public. Journals okay. are eager to share descriptions of potentially dangerous viruses. Look, that's great, but also Other labs go further and make viruses wild. more dangerous. They combine Sharing and mutate the different is good viruses so can to make understand which vaccines? mutations make them more likely to spread but between humans or make them deadlier than their original forms. And again, the these results are shared freely. All while synthetic DNA and equipment yeah, to rebuild Nintendo these Switch. viruses are sold online to anyone without any or very little tracking. As what? the tools of biotechnology get ever cheaper and easy to use, and the data on dangerous viruses keeps multiplying, it's only a matter of time before a well-meaning scientist shares blueprints for the equivalent nuclear bomb of viruses, a superbug yeah. that will cause millions of deaths, and what? someone uses it. Maybe because what? they have bad intentions, maybe because they're irresponsible or sloppy. We're what? creating an environment in which it's increasingly easy for anyone to create a weaponized and virus in their backyard. No this is scary. Mm -mm. You see the them world rats? would be plunged no. into an unending crisis as this new pandemics pop up this year after year Only or all versions. at once, killing large what? parts this of the world's population, doing time, unimaginable right? damage to civilization as a whole, and mm -mm. possibly undoing centuries of Just progress. Like of us. Mm -hmm. What can we do? Turns out, a lot. Like what? It's not the first time we've faced a challenge like this, and mm, we are not true. helpless. Think of nuclear technology. Something extremely powerful and dangerous with huge mm -hmm. upsides and downsides. A nuclear energy was born from weapon programs, well. so its creators were always aware of the potential for their knowledge to be abused. Mm -hmm. From the very beginning, it was clear that knowledge in this you field and access to, to the technology lady. needed to be handled with utmost care. Mm -hmm. So a lot of effort has gone into making sure no radioactive material disappears from sight or that countries don't try to hide weapons development behind energy programs. Mm. The result mm. hasn't been perfect, but considering the 411 mm. nuclear power stations running today, we've been very successful. Likewise, okay. no researcher would think Doesn't to share data on how to turn though. common laboratory equipment into bomb-making machines on the internet. What? There's no reason we couldn't handle the really dangerous aspects of biotechnology in a similar way. Okay. Experts have come up with three sort of bullet points. Mm -hmm. First, we need to delay the next deadly pandemic by yep. getting a grip on how we treat dangerous viruses. Their genetic data should sure. be treated as an info hazard. Information mm -hmm. that yes. poses a danger to society if yes, it's shared so it without be care. It In other be words, tracked. not just anyone should be able to order dangerous DNA right. online. And Why if you do, you thing? should be tracked. So it becomes much 100%. harder for the wrong you people to access list. the really spicy stuff. Yes. The next step is detecting the danger by becoming aware which viruses are present among oh. us and are spreading explosively you between nasty humans. Man. Cover your mouth. This could be as easy as having labs in population centers maintain virus detectors that monitor what's going on in the micro world. Okay. If we suddenly see certain microorganisms show up a lot in a short time, we can react quickly and start countermeasures. Okay. Which is the final step, destroy. We basically need to build a machine that's ready to destroy any pandemic threat before it has a chance to take over. How? We can do this with new tools that are being developed right now, like really? nanofilters that pull dangers out oh, of the air the we air. breathe, or specialized mm. UV lamps that just kill any virus before it has this a chance to jump from person to person. More and, more and of course, like we need to get better at getting new vaccines like faster than ever before in history. Pandemic. If we do these three things, the chances are really good that we can avoid a catastrophic pandemic in the future. Mm. Biotechnology, like any exciting I and powerful technology, is neither inherently good UV or bad. Uh, it has the potential thing. to be both in breathtaking ways. We have the chance to have a future where we get to truly control biology, our mm -hmm. biology, the biology of this the plants and animals around us, and the biology of the micro world. So let's use it to create a future where we triumph over pandemics and diseases for good. It would be really great if 
a lot of people came together to, I mean, and not to say that there aren't a lot of people, right? There are a lot of people that are coming together to help people and to make things better, especially when it came to the pandemic situation and like what's been going on with COVID and whatnot and having people, there was like a bunch of companies that were coming together to try to find a vaccine and work together and break down the technology and whatnot to really just make this thing happen okay and so there were there are people who are doing those things like it is still very wild to me the level it's more so the level of information we have i am sure that there are parts of the government even the u.s government of all the governments right that know how covid factually got started because when you think about the things that they like, especially when you watch like these uh, like documentaries like years later and they talk about how they found the person who did this thing or the person that did that thing or how they found the source of what happened. Like the investigation is very thorough and they know the source and where it came from. I'm sure that the government does know. I mean, it does suck that there's all this like misinformation that's put out there and it's like, oh, was it China? Was it America posing in China? That was a theory. Oh, it was an animal. It was this animal. It or, Like it was a leak. It was done on purpose. There's just so much that just gets thrown out, which does suck when you're just trying to like me as the regular old Joe, I just want to know how to protect myself and knowing the information of how it like the source of where it came from will be very helpful because then you can know the degree of worry, you know, the degree of the care you should take and the possibility of it happening again. And then trying to either press government, governmental bodies to make sure something like that doesn't happen again. And think about what programs we need to put in place to protect ourselves from these things because like if it is a situation where it was done on purpose seven million people die for what 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 would the purpose be if it was an accident how do we make sure an accident like that does not happen again if it you know if it is an accident so that way seven million people aren't killed by this deadly disease you know it would be good if we knew like the source of that information. I, I it is wild to me that I could go online and buy the DNA of a of like of anything. Okay, that is wild to me, and the fact that it's not really tracked is also very wild. I don't. It just seems like it would make sense, especially after what happened at COVID, like the whole COVID thing, that that information would be trackable and something that. Like you would be on a list for, um, not saying like you, like not like a watch list, but at least some type of tracking. So that way, uh, if it's like, oh, this new disease is a breakdown of this. Okay, well who all bought the DNA breakdown of this? That could be, you know, like, I just feel like one and one equals two. Why are we not doing the math here, people? What's, what's going on? What's going on? That is wild. That is very wild. So yeah, there should be better tracking. Uh, there should be, I know there are some, some, uh, uh, technology breakthroughs that have been happening in the realm of protecting ourselves. Unfortunately though, we know that there are laws that are put in place that inhibit pro progression in certain areas of science and technology because it betters the pockets of those who rely on the old school ways of fuel and technology and the way things used to be. And those people, their pockets are lined heavily when we rely on the stuff that they were using before versus the newer stuff that could be very helpful. So, I mean, I, I hope that things get better for us. It's all we can do. It's just hope. But let me know your thoughts down below in the comment section. What do you think of the news <laughs> that we just learned in this video? Uh, let me know. Let's talk about it. Uh, don't forget to like the video and turn on the notification bell. Boop, boop, so you know when I post. I love you guys as always. And until next time, buddies. Toodles.